the Prosperity Week. This region of ours emits the largest volume of greenhouse gases and contributes to half of the world's carbon dioxide. But the good news is we're also a very big part of the solution. So in the next three days, yes, we will talk about challenges and pain points, avoid all of lot. But what we really want to do is to identify those high impact levers that already exist so that we can fast track decarbonization and make it affordable to all countries. We are planting this in the Philippines. We have worked closely, or Tomasic have worked closely with Eco Matcher. Uh, and you can go in and track just how many trees are being planted in the long run, either via their website or their app, and you can do it too. So thank you once again for being a part of Eco Fairy Week 2023. I'm leaving you and I'll see you right around 8.30 a.m. tomorrow. Thank you. If you joined us yesterday, which I hope you did, I also hope that you found the discussions not only insightful, but actionable. I mean, this is why I always say we need to maximize the fact that there are so many people in this room. And for Asia Pacific, we're really in the hot seat because this is home to the world's uh, most number of megacities, right? Which means we are increasingly vulnerable to climate-related risks and challenges. Absolutely, this is it. Welcome and good morning. Welcome to Financing Asia's Transition Conference. This is FAST and it's brought to you by the client folks at BlackRock, Monetary Authority Singapore, and Demosic. So it is day three of Ecosphere Week 2023 and it has been fruitful to say the least. Uh, I am a humble student of all of you here and the amount of notes that I've taken has been extraordinary. So yesterday we are really deep diving into financing Asia's great transition, because yes, there is a significant gap there, and we all have a part to play in this. We are looking at uh, new ways and creative ways of thinking about financing. We're looking at robust investment vehicles and kind of changing the game because these are unprecedented times. It's complicated. In this part of the world, in Asia, in APAC, there are ready to go scalable, commercially viable, nature-based solutions. It's coming out of our region. That is really something we need to think about and be optimistic about. We need to celebrate the small victories. Yesterday we heard from Ms. Hannah Jones. She's the CEO of Earthshock Prize. And she said that one out of every six of the applications that this uh, prestigious prize gets comes from Southeast Asia. That's great. That means we do have momentum. We are moving in the right direction. If there is one thing that I have learned uh, from breaking my foot seven weeks ago is that fast is relative. I think you can feel me when I say this, right? If one foot in front of the other, let's do this. I feel like we're the race of my life. And that's what it's like for us in this region, right? We are so unique. It's beautiful, but it's unique. Some of us are moving faster than others. Fast is relative. Some of us need more help than others, and that's why we're here. We have a special guest this morning, and we cannot wait to hear from him. This is a gentleman who has played a significant role in shaping inclusive economic policies for his country. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the Senior Minister and Coordinating Minister for Social Policies and the Chairman of the Monetary Authority of Singapore in the Republic of Singapore, Mr. Fahman Chanugata. Good morning. Up now, uh, a three day adventure that has been so so fruitful. And if we look at our journey, this global journey towards net zero, we know for a fact Asia is so much at the core of that solution. And I'm sure some of you in your companies and organizations at, at some point have had to do a team building exercise. They like to get us to do this to be able to collaborate together to create impact. Well, this journey to net zero, uh, decarbonizing at scale to get us to where we need to be is the biggest team building exercise this world has ever seen. And we are in the running, but it takes a village. As of now, I think there's 8,070 trees. Thank you very much for making it possible. We're doing uh, what we can to make it work. So thank you on behalf of uh, Tomasic. It has been an absolute joy. My name is Nikki Mueller. I hope to see you next year.